I am a fan of the books. The movies, uh, not so much. <laughs> Oh, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. I semi teensy bit enjoy the first two. I think that they're a fun waste of time if you have nothing else to do on a Saturday. Just plop that in, go to sleep. No, I don't actually fall asleep during movies. I can't even take naps. I have sunburn. This is probably the most random review ever. I'm not even reviewing the movie. I'm just like... Oh my god. You know what, I'm just gonna go into the negatives right now. The plot. The plot is a negative because just listen to this. It's about the summer and Greg Heffley wants to get the girl, he wants to play video games, and he goes to a country club. I am a big fan of the books. I can just plop down and read one of those because they're an easy read. The script, the dialogue is terrible. It's like, what do you want to do today, Roderick? Oh, I want to play with my band because it, I like playing music. It's not that bad, but I couldn't think of anything else. My toe itches, so I'm shaking the camera. Oh, the characters are annoying. I don't understand the messages in this movie. The main character is a jerk, and that's why I like the books, because I like hearing his point of view, but in the movies, he's just a jerk to everyone, and everything plays out for him in the end, because he learns one little thing, but he's still a jerk in the next movie. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm like... Oh my god. I'd, I'd rather be doing a Blu-ray update right now, to be honest. I don't want to trash on this movie because I think that little kids will enjoy this movie. And I somewhat enjoyed this movie. It, it's not good. But I, I did, some of it did make me laugh. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it, it's gross-out humor, and that's what Dire from the Kid is known for. It's known for gross-out humor, it's known for fart jokes, and it's made for, like, Ew, he, he kissed her, ew, ew, that's so gross! But some of it is kind of funny, even if it has been done in every comedy movie from the past hundred years. The predictability is crazy. I knew that something was gonna bring these to the father and son. I knew that something was gonna bring them apart and at the end something was gonna happen and it's like, I'm proud of you son. You're my son again! It's like He's been a jerk to you the whole movie, and now you're a now you're forgiving him. It's like he's like the worst son ever. <sighs> the cliches again. You've seen them in every single freaking movie, and shut up, computer. I did enjoy myself, but I actually snuck into The Dark Knight Rises for like a few minutes, so. Actually, it wasn't a few minutes, it was like 10 seconds, but I do wish I was in there. The pacing was really off in this movie, too. I was bored in parts. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a D. Worst movie I've seen so far this year. I guarantee that the little kitties will enjoy it. A lot of the people in my audience were cracking up hysterically. Comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys later.